everyone? How's everyone doing? It has been a while since I did the stream last. So we are back today to check out this game here. In fact, while well, we're still waiting for some people to join in, let's just pop it on full screen and I can show you the amazing packaging that this game came with. Look how nice that looks. But there's the front. There's the back. It's actually by a Japanese developer as well, so I'm very interested to I just realised the microphone's in the in the shot. There we go. I'm very interested to see how this plays because it's the first Japanese developed game in GB Studio that I've come across so far. At least one that has an English translation anyway. There was some nice stuff inside it too. So we got some nice stickers. There you go. Really nice. Really, really nice artwork. Have a look at that. And, of course, we also got... An instruction booklet too, there we go. Hey, Gion, how's it going? Really nice instruction booklet as well, with some nice cute little illustrations in there. So, very much looking forward to checking this out. Yeah, just love the artwork, look how nice it is. And, if you want to see the cartridge, before we start the game up. There you go, really, really nice bright blue cartridge too. So let's put it in and let's see what this game is all about. Neko can dream. Right, fingers crossed everything works. It doesn't, uh, it didn't work in the analog pocket for some reason. So I'm using the Super NT with the Super Game Boy 2. Off to a good start. Let's give it a blow. Don't tell anyone. It worked earlier. I did test this out beforehand. Here we go. We have power. How's everyone doing this evening, by the way? Are you all good? Are you looking forward to checking this game out? Uh, there's a few things I want to do first. Just change the settings on here to get rid of the scan lines. Because I know if you're not looking at it at the right resolution, it can look a bit strange. So hopefully that looks a bit better. And there is something else I want to do as well. I was trying out a few different um, colour options. And if I remember right, 2C. Yeah, that that definitely matches the style of the game more, doesn't it? So I think we're going to use colour palette 2C for this one. And before I get into the game... Ah, excellent, thank you. I was literally just about to ask how is the game volume? Right, how is it now? So when I'm talking, it should be a little bit quieter. And then when I'm quiet, it should go up a little bit. So does that sound good? Are we ready to jump in? Give me a thumbs up. A tad more up or down. Up or down. Up or down. There's a bit of a delay with the chat as well, unfortunately. Down a little bit more, sure. Let's try it around there. How's that? We'll start it there. Hey, Pass the Plunger's here as well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking this out, Neko Can Dream. You just missed a full unboxing. Right, there you go, so you can see how nice it looks. And it came with this little sticker sheet too, which is really cute, so. Alright, introductions out of the way. The game is set up. Make sure I'm actually recording it as well, because I might turn this into a video if I enjoyed it. There was one more thing I thought I could do as well. Uh, let's pick a background. Oh yeah, you can... Uh, it's basically like having a reversible cover, but there's actually a sticker there that you can use over the cartridge, which is really nice. Without the name of the game, so it's just like... Uh, a piece of artwork for it and I'm definitely gonna find somewhere to put some of these because they do look really really nice let's see which one of these would suit the game <laughs> definitely not the tropical vibe hmm maybe the cogs I want something kind of dreamy a swamp I don't know why there's a swamp option yeah underwater that suits the blue color palette we'll go with this one all right here we go I'm very excited actually all right, wake up. Dot, 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 dot. 
Who was that voice? Where am I? I'm hungry. Okay, I'm in control now. I believe this was made in Game Boy Studio. The sprites look a little bit smaller, but maybe that's just because I'm not used to playing it on the SNES. Oh wow, really nice uh, full screen artwork there. You got a can of cat food. Drool. But, as you don't have a can opener, you couldn't open it. Oh no. Uh, cheers for all the latest uh, homebrew GB games, but add them to the analog pocket. Going to Manchester for Horror Expo. Awesome. I'll see if I can think of any horror games you should check out. Have you tried Traumatarium? That was a really uh, well-renowned Game Boy horror game recently. I wasn't a massive fan, but some people really like it. A can opener? I don't know, but if there's one place that lets you borrow tableware, it's the Yakitori bar over there. Hey, you have cat ears. You know, those are quite rare. Okay, is that the Yakitori bar? Nope. Here it is. Yakitori bar. Bear dream. Sorry we're closed. Well, you can just break in anyway. Deliverer, have a good evening. Whoa, you startled me. Excuse me, let me through. The translation seems good so far. So for those of you that don't know, this is actually a Japanese developed game. And this is, I guess you could call it an official translation because it's sold on the developer's website. And they've done a fantastic job with the packaging and the cartridge. Um, oh, a customer. Welcome, you're a new face. I was in the middle of preparations, but that's all right. Please take any seat you like. What would you like to order? Huh? You want to borrow a can opener? That thing in your hand is... Uh-huh, I see. You wanted to open that can and eat the cat food. Too bad it's not food in that can. Because it is... A dream can. Okay. A dream can is a can that contains someone's dream instead of cat food. I don't know whose dream or what kind it is in that one. Anyway. Dreams won't fill your belly, you know. Although, there are plenty of people around who desire those things. We used to produce dream cans in this neighbourhood, but there are no canners here, nowadays. Those cans have become rare items and can fetch a high price if you're in the right place. But you have... But you only have one. Dot 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 dot. I've got an idea, customer. You could become a dream canner, a maker of dream cans. I believe you have the potential. If you manage to make one, I'll buy it from you. And, I'm also, and I'll also take the one you have now in exchange for regular cans. Rion cans filled with Rion cat food. This way you can satisfy your hunger and I can get my hands on some dream cans. Sounds like a good deal for you, doesn't it? Huh? How do you make a dream can? Well, just follow me and you'll see. But before that, we need to address your attire. Put this on before you come out. Okay. Can I interact with anything? Oh, I got something. To pick up a phone. <laughs> Dream canner. Is that pretty much every game company this year? You wore a blue one-piece dress. Actually, it's orange. Shall we see if we've got a better colour palette? Whoa! Not that one. That one looks alright if the background wasn't so bright. I thought 2C looked the best though, but let's have a look. If it's supposed to be blue. Ooh, maybe that one. Should we go with that one? I think that looks nice. We'll go with this colour scheme then. You wore a blue one-piece dress. Yeah, that looks nice. What do you guys think of the colour? 
technically this is just a, a black and white only game, but I wanted to inject a little bit of uh, something that kind of matches the aesthetic. Hmm, no, don't you look good. Keep the outfit. It's all yours now. Well then, come with me. That's the door. Inside, there's a human who has been asleep and never woken up. You, cat ears, are going to approach that human and look into a dream. Find the dreamer who must be inside the dream, and voila, you will have a dream can made. The door is unlocked, and the human won't wake up no matter what you do, so you can go into her room on your own and explore her dream. Find the dreamer, that's the key to making a dream can. I feel like this is an invasion of privacy. Just give it a try and you'll understand. Okay. I'm curious though. Let's see if there's anything else up here first. You seem to have no choice. Okay. In we go. Books, documents and other things are stacked in a messy pile. On the table is a glasses case. The dustbin is full. A human woman is sleeping calmly. Will you look into her dream? I guess that's the only option. Okay, we're in her dream. And this was the screenshot on the back of the box. She's dreaming about cubes. Okay. Stage one, the fish dream. I'm very curious to see where this game's going to go. It seems very strange so far. If, like... What is this? A Japanese take on the BFG? Strange terrain, isn't it? The legends say these block-like things fell from the sky a long time ago. Can I go anywhere? We can go down here. Okay, there's a random hole in the floor. I like it, it's a very dreamlike aesthetic. Has anyone watching ever dreamed about Giant floating cubes. Hi, it's a great day for fishing. Dreamer? I have no idea. Exit. Okay, am I supposed to be going in here? I feel like I'm going in the wrong way. Uh, okay. Oh, I love these little cutscene things in between. Really nice. Whoa, now we got isometric. Oh, you're from the clifftop side. This place is like a maze of blocks, so be careful not to get lost. A bus? What on earth is that? I'm very confused. That one's floating for some reason. There's a treasure chest. The chest seems to be locked. Is there nothing I can do? Do I have an inventory? I have items. Oh wow, even that's got a really nice screen. Achieve your Neko can dream! I've zero cans. The game is saved. Okay, we've got saves. And then go back to the title screen. That's the only other option. Let's see what this shadow bird has. Oh, that is a lovely outfit. You're shining. Thank you. North, the fish market. East, stairs to the top. What about west? More random floating blocks. Why does this feel like a dungeon in a mid-2000s JRPG? My partner's battery died, so I'm changing it. It's a long Game Boy. No reaction. Looks like its battery is dead. Okay, and he's blocking the path. Let's go on up then to find some fish, I guess. Don Nyaon's Fish Market. What do you mean they're missing? They all went away before I had time to stop him. Then bring him back fast. The auction's about to start. Crap, I'm screwed. Yo, who the hell are you? Sorry, but we're closed right now. Dreamer? Hmm, I ain't got a clue what you're jawing about, but if you're on the prowl for the fella running this joint, 
might be Don Neon. You know, the cat who was just here. He's the big shot who runs this market and keeping the whole area in order. Hey, I've got a favour to ask you. Think you can do me a solid and find that escaped tuna in my place? You see, the tuna we was going to put up for auction done skedaddled. If they come back, I'll introduce you to the Don. I swear on it. There's a total of eight tuna. I've got to hold down the fort here, so I'm going to hand them over to you. If them tuna don't come back crawling to the Don, I'm going to have my head on a platter. There's a total of eight tuna. I've got to hold down the fort here, so I'm going to hand them to you. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go find some tuna, I guess. Welcome to Neon's Fish Market. You can find all kinds of fish. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. If you want to take a break from the game, press the menu button and select save. We're on a tuna hunt. I've come to buy dinner. Tuna? Hey, they don't seem to be selling it recently. Where are you from? Outside the dream? Ha! <laughs> What's outside? Ah, you're the person they've been talking about, seeking tuna. The Tuna Seeker! Did you know you can now see how many tuna you found by pressing the menu button and selecting item? Um, zero, I guess. Stage one, find the eight tuna. Okay. Is that one on the roof? What? Tuna on the top of my stall? Hold on a sec. Nice to meet you, I'm Tuna. Thanks a lot, I was having trouble getting down. The auction's about to start, right? I've got to get back. Let's see where the item shows it. Oh, it's on that second screen. Right, we are one down. Is this kind of like finding the tears of light in uh, Twilight Princess? Uh, I'm sorry, but just up ahead is the tuner auction hall. Right now they're setting up so you can't get in. Oh my, how do they manage to bring fish to a place like this? Octopus. I like octopus too. Want a super fresh octopus? It's even still alive! No, thank you. I just want tuna. Oh no, I feel like I'm going to get lost here. I didn't know there was a market in the middle of this blocky space. Looks delicious. Welcome! Don Neon was upset, but what was all it, what was it all about? I'm gonna get so lost. Uh, I've lost track of my storm because this market is so big. Hmm, what's this fish called? There's so many I can't remember. Maybe I have to go this way? It's nice and dark here and I feel at home. Okay, emo girl, find me some tuna. Let's see what's in here. Now what's going on? It'll be alright, it's only a few days journey. Nothing bad is going to happen. Why is it so ominous all of a sudden? Uh, okay. Now where am I? Did I just come out of the TV? Ooh la la, didn't you just come out of the washing machine? <laughs> okay, not the TV. Out of the washing machine, okay. I did. I didn't mean to go back in there. Okay, there's a little weird jump there. I need to buy some food, but the fish market is a long way from here. I wish there was a shortcut nearby. Maybe you can jump in the washing machine like I did. What? Tuna? I prefer salmon to tuna. Uh, oh my god, I'm going to get so lost. Why is there no map? Okay, we have a dance routine. Come on, everyone, keep it up. One, two, three, four. Eleanor's aerobics class. Hilda, uh, when can we get to the fish market? Uh, we're a bit lost, ma'am. I heard that the app version of this game has a feature called save state in addition to the regular save. Don't ask me what that means, I'm just a kid. I heard you can get back out of the stage by checking the glowing diamond shape exit that appears at the starting point. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Zachary App, you miss a tuna? Oh no, where was it? Oh no, how do you know I missed one already? 
A thin booklet labelled itinerary is on the floor. Could it have been left behind by someone? What is going on? Do I need to find all the tuna before I carry on? I've only got one. There's one. Oh, how nice to see you here. My goodness, are you looking for a lost tuna? The auction is about to start. Oh dear, thanks for telling me. Let's see where it put that one. Oh, it says it's the second one in. Hopefully I can loop back round at some point. Then where am I? There's a diamond. And a hole. And an item box. The chest seems to be locked. I can't do anything with these boxes. Does that mean I have to come back again at some point? Oh, okay. Well, we found our way out there. They say children like us will go to a place called school. But why do we have to go to such a place? Good question. There's another Game Boy. I exercised a lot and my battery's about to run out. See, my face is a bit pale, isn't it? I can't see your face. It actually looks very dark from this colour scheme. You love my stuff on YouTube? Thank you. Always great to find people who watch my stuff. I've got a uh, pickups video coming out this week. So hopefully you look forward to that. Teaching table. Is there a tuner in the school? Someone's chair's sideways. Is that mine? In the, dus in the dusty desk was a faded handout. It looked as if it had been left there for years. What is going on? I'm just bouncing around all over the place in this game. The door is locked. The door is locked. This one's open. What? Ch -ch -ch tuna? There's no tuna here. I'm not hiding anything. Don't get out of my flat. <clears throat> Why am I in someone's flat? I thought I was in a school. What's going on? Do I have to jump inside the washing machine again? Let's see if there's something up here. You unlock the door. Somehow, the door is locked. A washing machine. Is this the same person? Is there going to be a tuner in the box? The chest seems to be locked. There's someone else in here. I'm just breaking into people's flats now. I'm waiting for my darling to buy us dinner at the fish market. I'm ignoring all the washing machines for now because I don't want to miss anything. This is a flat below ground level, so it's always dark outside the window. Well, that's quite sad, isn't it? Why bother having windows? Now what's going on? Oh, I found a tuner! Yes, I'm tuner. I was just resting here for some fresh air. I'll be right back. That's three. I'm going to go back in and see whether any of those washing machines go anywhere. A washing machine. Or well, maybe they don't anyway. Although, there were more stairs on this side, so let's try this. The chest seems to be locked. Alright, guess we're following the path over here. I'm really worried that I've missed one already. Hopefully not. That doesn't go anywhere. There's a fisherman. Hi, it's a great day for fishing. Tuna? No way I can catch such a big... What is that? It's a bite! Oh, you got me. That's correct. I'm one of the eight tuna. You want me to go back because the auction's about to start? Oh, alright. I will. Turns out I can catch a lot more kinds of fish here than I expected. So, how many have I got now? I'm halfway there. What's that do? Will you wake up from this dream? No. We have more tuna to find. But at least I know where that is, in case I need it. Strange terrain, isn't it? The legend says these block like things fell from the sky a long time ago. Am I supposed to be going this way? 
I guess there's nothing to do over here. Well, I guess I'll loop back round and find that tuna that I missed earlier. Maybe. What does everyone think of the game so far? Seems quite interesting. Don't really understand what the plot is yet, if there even is one. Or is it just random dreamscapes? For a few different people. I also don't know why I can't open any treasure chests. Hmm. I must have missed some stuff in the market. Maybe. If you want to take... Oh, I've already spoke to all these people. Let's do this methodically. I'll go all the way up the side first. Let's see if that goes anywhere. Nope. And then... Let's see, is there anything up here? Ah, oh, just up ahead is the tuna auction. Oh, I hope I don't end up getting really lost trying to find them. They're all fresh fish. All the fish caught by the fishing boats around here come to this market. Hey, there's one. There's so many kinds of fish. What do you say? I'm a fish too? Well, that's true. Right, there's f three more to find. Three more. Anyone watching, help me out if you think I missed any. Yeah, I really wish there was a map. But I'll do my best anyway. Let's try going back inside. Right, we've already been over there. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome! Yeah, we've already spoke to them too. So, I think that is the fish market exhausted. So there was one extra there. Does this girl have one? It's nice and dark here and I feel at home. Okay, seems like we're going back round again. Maybe it should lock you off from one area before you go to the next one. Didn't you just come out of the washing machine? Yeah. Uh, did I go this way? Yeah, I've already been up there too. Wait! Ah, that's where the other tuna was. He was hiding. One, two, three, four. What? Looking for tuna? I was just having fun exercising. No choice. I'm going back to the market. Can I join in instead? Wheeze, wheeze. I gotta work hard and lose weight. Pant, pant, pant. Pant, pant. Alright, we've only got two left. They can't be far behind. Back down into the tunnels. Let's see if there was any paths we didn't take before. There is a bit of light there. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere though. Ah! What is that emoji? That's scary. Uh, did we go this way? I think we went up the ladder, didn't we? So let's try going up this one. It might take us somewhere else. Uh, or do we have to go and try the other one? Yeah, we've already seen that. Okay, let's try going up the middle instead. I 
I think we've already been here too. Um, I can't open any of them boxes. I don't think I can anyway. Um, Zachary, did you manage to open any of those boxes when you were playing it? I feel like there can't be that many more places I haven't looked. No more hidden exits or anything. There's a Game Boy whose batteries have run dry. Hmm. I need to find two more. Oh, I thought you had played it. You're just here chilling. No worries then. Let me know if you spot anything. I think she's got one. There's no tuna here. I'm not hiding anything. Why would you say that? It's very suspicious. Let me in. Do I have to go in her washing machine? Ah, oh, washing machine. Can't go in that one. The door is locked. I don't know what to do. Check everything. He's waiting for his food. I've already spoke to him. A washing machine. A washing machine. What about this person? Oh yeah, they just said the, about the dark windows, which is kind of depressing. Uh, okay, let's keep going up. Um, is that a door on the side? You mean over here? I don't think so. You mean this bit? No. These are the doors. And this bit here, no, that doesn't go anywhere either. I did try that earlier. I presume that's where the bathroom would be in the flat if they showed it. Well, there's some stairs over here. I can't remember if I went up these ones. Yeah. Hmm. I think I've exhausted every possibility in this area. I know there's a path there on the right as well, but... Okay, that takes you back to the fisherman, who had one more. That doesn't go anywhere. Turns out you can catch a lot more fish than expected. Am I supposed to leave the dream and find some tuna outside, maybe? I'm sure I've been absolutely everywhere at this point. Will you wake up from this dream? The dustbin is full. On the table is a glasses case. Books, documents and other things. A pile of dusty cardboard boxes. I probably don't have to come out, but... I don't want to go too far as I might get lost. I'm already lost. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Should we go and see if anything happens? Find the dreamer. That's the key to making a dream can. I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh, there's someone there. I never noticed. Deliverer. I've finished work and I'm back for a drink. Fair enough. Watch out, the signal's still red. Okay, yeah, there's nothing... There's nothing outside here. Uh, unless that bin has something in. It's a disgraceful... It's disgraceful to look in a bin. Oh, okay, sorry. I guess we go back in then. I might need to look up a walkthrough, honestly. Have I still got them? Thank God I've still got them. Let's have one more look around, see whether I haven't missed anywhere. Strange terrain, isn't it? That's the only thing on this side. 
oh, I was really enjoying this game as well, and then it turned into a annoying hide-and-seek puzzle. I hate it when games do this. If you're going to be a narrative game, just be a narrative game. You don't need to be so obtuse with everything. Alright. I don't know where else to look. Let's see if there's any other routes on this side. Oh, okay. For some reason, they managed to insert the batteries, so we can go down here now. We found somewhere new. Yay, I'm glad I didn't give up. Yay, a nice another full screen picture too. Wake up. Why? Why? It was a voice you had heard once before. When you woke up in that back alley. I don't remember waking up in the back alley. I'm just looking for tuna. Hey, there's one. Good day, mates. I'm tuna. What's the rush? Bloody oath, did you come looking for me? Well, no worries, I'll be back in a jiffy. Cheers, mate. <laughs> okay. There's one more down. Be careful not to get lost. What, me? I'm looking for the fish market. It should be somewhere around here. Is this where I came in? Yeah. Oh, weird. Now that's turned back into that again. Right, we're only missing one now. I wonder if I can go back in there and go up instead of down. Maybe. Or maybe there was another area where the Game Boy was blocking the path. He's all better now. What does he have to say? You're on, I slept well. Oh, that's good. Uh, if we go back up there, that just takes us back up there. So, I... Yes, we've exhausted everything in this area, so there's still one more to find somewhere. You can't go off the side of the road either. And then we've looped back around again. One left. Anyone got any ideas? I'll try and find out if I can find where another Game Boy was trying to get his batteries fixed. Hmm. Was there another one blocking the path like that? Can't quite remember. Let's see if she gives us a hint. Seems like there's still one more swimming around. Is that one? At the kids' house. Maybe. Maybe I'll try and get back around there. Um, well, they let me in with that one. Sorry, but just up ahead is the tuna auction. They're still setting up. Okay, we've got to go back around again. Hopefully I can speed this up. Nothing in here. There's a Game Boy over there. I don't think he's blocking anything though. Now we're back to the aerobics cats. Anything on this side? No. I wonder if there's any hints in the instruction manual. Why can't I open any boxes? I'm sure that would help. 
that's back at the start. Let's see if it says anything in the instructions. No, it just says stage one, find the tuna. Basically. All right, we'll keep looking. If there was at least like a map that changed color or ticked it off, if you'd cleared out that area so you know that you didn't have to look back there again. Or maybe like a little radar that said whether you were hot or cold. I've exercised a lot, my battery's about to run out. Can I get through? I'm sure I need to go in there. Oh, I don't know. I was really enjoying this as well, I know, it's just ground to a halt, pretty much. Uh, no other secret doors or anything. I'm not going to go through all these again. Although, maybe there was somewhere else I can go outside. Out here, maybe. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere anyway. And we're back at the start again. I doubt there's any walkthroughs online, but I'm going to have a look on YouTube and just see. Mine might be the first one out there if I upload the gameplay. Um, someone's uploaded a Japanese walkthrough. I feel bad cheating, but I feel like I need to at this point. put it in two times speed so hopefully it won't take that long. Hmm. I'm a bit lost. I wonder whether to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys if I add... I don't want to do a whole display capture. See whether I can do a window capture. There we go. Can you see that? This is the walkthrough that I'm watching. So, let's see what we've missed. Uh, the uh, window's too small. Okay, I think we've done everything the same so far. Maybe there's something in the school I missed? I've put it in two times speed as well, so it should speed it up a little bit. Wait, I haven't seen that room. Oh, have I? Yeah, there's no way of getting back in there. Okay. Hmm. Well, while we're watching them, I'll get back into the main area. Just so I've got somewhere easier to follow them from. Let's see. Can they open the box? No, they can't. That's good. I haven't missed anything with the boxes being opened then. Was there anything else in the school that I missed? Is there anything in this crack? Nope. Uh, 
I swear it's that house where they tell me there's something there and then they kick me out. Uh, maybe you have to just keep talking to them? No? Okay, so far everything's the same. Right, they've got four. Yeah, I did that one. The fisherman's got one. That's how many I've got. <coughs> okay, then they go back down again. And then they're going to go on the motorway bit. Because the Game Boy's moved out of the way. Okay, so far so similar. I'm going to keep walking around while I'm watching this, just in case I stumble upon it somewhere. I really hope they did find it and they don't just give up. Seems like they just cut and then went straight back to the market square. Now they've cut and they've gone back to the person in the house. And they found one. Um... In the market, okay. So they should have two left. Now they're checking out the rest of the market. Okay, they've only got one left as well, so we're in the same place now. They're talking to the girl in the darkness. They've gone back to that person again. They just kept talking to that person. Really? Okay, I guess I just needed to be more persistent then. Alright, let's hide that. Okay, how annoying is that? So I just need to keep talking to this person. Kitten, that's enough. Really? That's so annoying. <coughs> Don't come out. It has come, the day of my departure. I will come one day for all of us, Market Tuna. You must stay. If you go, they will kill you. Thanks for worrying about me. You're a kind kitten, but this is our destiny. Please step aside. You finally found me. I'm the last of the eight Tuna. I'll be returning to the auction hall now. I hope you come and visit us there. And don't forget to inform the shopkeeper who sent you to find us. See you later. Boo-hoo! I stole her pet tuna. How sad, but thank god that's over. That took a long time. A lot longer than I was expecting. I can't even go out that way. Okay, back we go. Let's see whether I get a can for all my hard work. And I'm hoping the second story, or whatever comes next, is a little less cryptic. Alright, back down we go, again! For like the fifth time. Oh, we have to go all the way around because you can't just go straight up. How annoying. We're back. I've got on the tuna. Ah, much obliged. The tuna do come back, every last one. Make your way to the auction hall. Don should be there soon. 
Head on over to the left area, then go up till you hit the end of the road. That's where you're going to find the auction hall. I didn't read the last word there. Capiche, maybe? Alright, let's go up. I know where it is. I know she didn't tell me to go this way. But anyway, found a shortcut. Woo, now we're allowed in! Is this an auction hall? This looks like a classroom. Miss Nana, I've made copies of the documents for next month's school trip. Thank you for your help, Miss Yoshino. Even though you're busy too. Oh, is that the room for the... Career interest survey, by any chance? Wow, I can't believe it's already that time. Yeah, but I still haven't collected them from all the students in my class. Hmm, hmm, how many are left? Eight. Oh no. Don't make me do it again. There's a box-like object, but it is too dark to check. Okay, what's going on now? Right, we're back to the tuner for some reason. We've got some funky music going on too. Thank you for your patience. The tuner auction will now begin. Whoa, we even got a disco ball. And party and cats. And happy tuner! Look how happy they are. They're all going to get eaten in a minute. So, I hear it was you who brought the tuner back. Thanks to you, the auction went smooth like butter. And we managed to sell every damn fish. I owe you big time, my friend. The name is Don Neon, and I'm the owner of this fish market. Hmm, so you claim to be from outside the dream, huh? Well, now ain't that an interesting tale you got there. Don, maybe that spook... Yeah, I was about to say that. Unfortunately, I only run this small market, see? I ain't got a clue what you mean by the dreamer. But your yarn reminds me of something. You see, round these parts, there's something floating about. A ghost! Folks around here sometimes hear that spook mumbling about being outside or inside the dream. Or being some kind of prisoner. Ah, yeah, I want you to have this. Okay, I got a lantern. It's easy to handle because it's LED. This lantern's got a history, you see. Rumour has it that its owners ended up bumping into ghosts and such. You better take it with you, friend. You'll nab as many as you want. Ghosts, dreamers, or whatever else. Keep an eye out for that maze down south, because the ghosts have been spotted lurking around in that area. Uh, okay. Did you enjoy the auction? I don't know. Oh my, how did they manage to bring a fish to a place like this? Okay, so now we've got a lantern to catch ghosts for some reason. Where do I need to take it? West, stairs to the top. Okay. Is that where I need to go? He said go south. I've lost track of my stall. Hee hee, it's because the market's so big. Well, this is south, but I don't see any ghosts. Let's check items. Okay. It just shows a lantern. Do I have to follow the stairs round then, maybe? Is this actually going to go anywhere, or is it just going to be weird things one after the other? Is she a ghost? It's nice and dark here and I feel at home. I guess we've just got to loop around again. Okay. Is everything else the same? I guess so. Uh, just keep looking until I find a ghost? They're not ghosts. Any ghosts in the sewers? I presume these are sewers anyway. <coughs> Have you seen a ghost? Nope. Has he seen a ghost? He's lost his batteries. We know that already. Has someone in one of these rooms lost the ghost? Is that lady still upset about the tuna going missing? Boo hoo. Alright, thanks for dropping by. 
Hope you enjoyed what you saw of the game, despite me just going around in circles most of the time. Can I open the boxes now? No. Am I going to have to consult the video again? Well, we're basically back to the start now anyway. Check the video again. Oh, okay. So it seems like by go south, they meant come back in through the entrance and it will change to be something else. So let's try that. Here we go. You lighted the lantern. Now let's go looking for ghosts, I guess. Ooh, got a new game coming from eBay. Are you a ghost? That's a lovely lantern. You're shining. That's a very kind pigeon. Is he a ghost? Oh, he wasn't there before. Hmm, I thought there was a road ahead. And me. That's what I was expecting. But he's not a ghost, he's just a random dog just standing there in the darkness. For some reason. But at least we saw something new. Oh! Oh, what's going on now? The lantern light went out. Question, question, question. It's too dark to read the sign. Okay, we're making progress. Can't hear what he or she said. Is this the girl whose dream it is? I love these full screen artworks. They're really cool. She's very shocked. You! You must be from the outside world. Oh right, this place isn't real, and I'm a prisoner within this place, within this dream. Are you here to can my dream too? It's been quite a while since I last had a visit from a dream canner, but that's alright. I'll share my story with you. My name is Nana. In my previous world, I worked as a teacher, imparting knowledge and wisdom to students and sending them out into the turbulent waters with the confidence that they had the inner strength to navigate society. That was my role. But one year, during a school trip with 12th graders who would be graduating the following year, the weather took a sudden turn and heavy rain began. We were staying at a small inn in the mountains with a river nearby, so we decided to leave the mountains quickly, thinking it would be safer. It turned out to be a mistake. Oh no. The bus carrying us lost control and plunged into the swollen river due to the heavy rain. We descended into the cold, dark water. When we regained consciousness, we were in this world. Here, in this dream world, we have unlimited possibilities. We can be anything we want. We no longer have to fear being engulfed by the muddy waters and facing death. Because in this world, we have become fish with freedom. Okay. Now, Dream Canner, can my dream?
What happens when I can the dream? Does all this just cease to exist for her? Is this saying that the person whose dream I just went into was that teacher and all her students died in a bus crash and drowned in the river? So it's a bit depressing if that's the case. Well, I got the tuner anyway, so yeah. You got a dream can. I hope I didn't kill her. Miss Nana is sleeping calmly while you look into her dream. No, I'm done now. You wondered if they were the ones she had worn in her dream. You looked at the full dustbin and noticed a can of tuna inside. There are books that you recognise from her dreams. I like how all this has changed. The dusty cardboard boxes are all empty. Inmate 302, hello. I don't know how much of this you've already seen, but yeah, that was a strange turn of events. So what I took from that is that she's the only one who survived and she was dreaming about all the kids that died in the crash and they became the tuna that I had to collect. So, yeah. Dark. Do I go and get my tuna now? Was it worth it? Um, okay, the... The other person isn't here anymore. <coughs> I've finished work and I'm back for a drink. The barkeeper? She just left, telling me she was going up to the rooftop to catch the night breeze. Oh, okay. I'll just go straight up to the roof. Welcome back. It looks like you have gotten the dream can, right? You've seen it. That teacher's dream. I have seen it. Big city, right? Here, there are all kinds of people. The ones who have to keep dreaming, the ones who have to buy dreams, the ones the ones who can them, the ones who gather and sell. It's getting cold. Let's go back downstairs now, shall we? I see. You don't remember anything from before you came to this city. The white-haired, cat-eared person you said you saw in the dream. If you recognise their voice, they might be someone you knew. There is nothing strange about it. When others share dreams with you, your memories can also be projected onto them. Hey, if you're willing, could you make more dream cans? There are two other people in this city whose dreams can be used for dream cans right now. If you continue this work, you might encounter that person again, and it might help you trace your lost memories. Besides, more dream cans mean more regular cans of cat food as rewards. It shouldn't be a bad deal at all. What do you say? Okay, that's good. The second person to make a dream can will be found in the building next to the convenience store at the end of the road straight to the left. Just like the first one, look into the dream and find the dreamer. Okay, let's go. Hopefully it's a bit more straightforward than the first one because I got very lost. Hey, did you find a can opener? No, nope, still working on that. Let's see what's up here. Is this where I started? Yeah, this is where the game began. Alright, let's head back down. It's a disgrace to look in a bin. Uh, there's a convenience store. Can we go in there? Guess it's getting a bit chilly for ice cream. What? There's a Game Boy in the real world too. These days, we're accustomed to seeing download cards for game software sold in stores. It was unimaginable when I was born. Huh. I like that. Uh, Makunachi Bento. I like Makunachi Bento too. I don't know what that is. Microwave on the counter. A state-of-the-art payment machine with a large touchscreen. Huh. Welcome, I guess. Buy. Ah, you must bring items you wish to buy from the shelves first. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I never thought about that in games. <laughs> you can't just go up to the cashier and say bye. <laughs> sell. Sell? Look, this is a convenience store. You can't sell second-hand goods to us. That's brilliant. Please insert your card and the transaction will begin. This is an ATM. I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> um, 
cats eat tuna made out of dreams. Apparently. Alright, let's go to dreamer number two. I don't know which room they're in. The door is locked, not here. Okay, we found them. For some reason, they sleep with the door open. Don't question it. So, the instruction booklet did actually give a little bit of a description for each one. If I just pop back onto camera, you can see there's stage one, fish dream, and there's the teacher there. And the second one is called Moon Dream, so it seems like we're going to space this time. Stage 2, Moon Dream. And the third one, if you're interested, is called City Dream. Not sure if we'll get through all three of them tonight, but that's what to expect. Anyway, a model rocket made of several long, thin tubes. There are models of a rounded rocket and a four-legged craft in silver and gold. The books are neatly arranged. A globe. A human boy is sleeping calmly. Will you look into his dream? Of course. That's why we're here. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to Orion Transport. We are now leaving Earth orbit. Arriving at Palace Som Somni Lunar Base. Is scheduled in approximately 32 hours. <coughs> What am I seeing here? Stage two, the moon dream. With some funky music again. Okay. Ah, you're the one in the room next to mine. Nice to meet you, I guess. The door appears to be locked. Behind this door is a freight car. Please stay out of it. It's dangerous. Panel lamps are flashing. Panel lamps are flashing. And I guess it would say the same on the other one. The door appears to be locked. I'll just check everything. Let's see these two weird kissing ducks. Hilda, is this thing ready? Yes, ma'am, of course. Okay, maybe they're not kissing ducks. Mark of the Rod of Asclepius. Let's call it Asclepius. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh. This is the sick bay. Feel free to stop by if you're not feeling well. Crammed full of Necomon books. Uh, is there anything on the other ones? No. I can get a little bit inside the beds, but not fully. Alright, let's carry on. I'm curious to see where this one goes. There's a weird hooded man. Standing alone in a corridor. I'm guessing all these are locked. I have found the canteen. If it was such a delicious dish, I should have forced myself to eat it earlier. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh no, I can't do anything without... Oh, I'm sorry, I've lost my precious cable, without which I'd be in big trouble tonight. Have you seen something like a white and grey cord? Her? What do you mean by how many of those cables do I have to find this time? Actually, there's only one cable I've lost, but if you see it, I would be great if you could let me know. Okay. Dinner was excellent tonight. Oh, I don't think we're at dinner. Did you miss it too? It was the best hamburger steak with demi-glaze sauce ever. Beep beep, cooking robot, I serve delif delicious meals to everyone. Cable, sorry, cable is not on the menu. And the door appears to be locked. Okay. I have to go and find someone's cable then, I guess. Yeah, there is kind of a warped effect to everything, isn't there? Mm, I guess because it's a round spaceship, so it's what it's supposed to look like all the rooms are sort of going around the side, maybe. Did I check these doors? I hope it's not really hidden away in like one pixel or something. Can I go this way? Behind the store is a freight car. Please stay out. It's dangerous. Is there a cable in this room? 
The moon is spinning around outside the window. Is it spinning? You have to turn your screen upside down. Cable, I ain't seen no such thing, but if you want to know about the machinery, why don't you ask the ship's engineer? I saw him lying down in the sick bay a while ago. Okay, I guess we have to go back to the sick bay again then. Let's keep going around. It's a shame there's no run button for when you're having to go back and forth. What cable? Oh, you mean this? It's a link cable. You got a, you got a game link cable. Awesome. I found it in an engine room, uh, thinking it was part of something. Could you return it to the owner? I don't think I can move right now, sorry. I'm on it. I'm on it slowly. There we go. Let's go and give him the cable. Ah, that's my cable. Thank you so much. Now I'm all set for tonight's battle. Well, passenger, it's getting late tonight. How about going back to your room and resting on your bed? Oh, now we have to go all the way back again. Oh, sorry if I sound a little stuffy tonight. I've been suffering with a bit of a cold recently, but hopefully it's not too noticeable. Alright, are you going to rest tonight? Yes. Okay, let's see what happens on day two. Can we go this way yet? Behind the store is a freight car. Please stay out because it's dangerous. Okay, not yet. Sorry, now we've got to work. Ah, uh, morning. There's some noise over there. Is something up? I'm sure something's up. Else it wouldn't be much of a game. Okay, looks like that guy's better, at least. Well, there's a whole commotion going on here. Maybe I should have spoke to them first. Oh no, was he the guy who was in the infirmary? What people were looking at was the body of a boy lying on the bed, bleeding from the neck. When you look closer, you realise that his face was the very face of the person who was having this dream. He is the dreamer. But how can I can his dream if he's already dead? Oh no. Passenger, could you go and get the conductor? He should be in Unit 7. We have our hands full here. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no. What is going on? An accident? What is going inside? Did you say someone died? What is all the fuss about? In room 203? Sure, I'm on my way. Let's see what he was hiding. Okay. Warning, recently some lazy crew seemed to be kicking cargo to move it around. Hand on cargo with care and never kick cargo with the A button. Uh, of course, I would never do such a thing. You've heard this before. It could be one of the default GB Studio ones, maybe. Or one of those free-to-use ones. It sounds kind of familiar. I think I might have heard it as well. You've got a dirty knife. Could the reddish black dirt stuck on it be? What do I need to do with that? i got to deal with a knife first. They're not going to frame me for a murder, are they? <clears throat> I hope that's not what's going on. Can I wash it in the kitchen? Okay, is he going to just stand outside? Could that knife be? You found it in the freight car. Let's talk about this elsewhere. My room, 201, would be good. Please don't forget to come to, come to room 201. Alright, everyone. Let's let the conductor handle this and leave the room for now. Uh, 
Okay, let's go in room 201. You are here. Please forgive me for not introducing myself earlier. I am Kai Yagiman, the president of Orion Transport, the company that operates this liner. I have also been on board this time as operations supervisor, and I'm sorry for causing such... Anyway, given that you found my cable last night and the murder weapon earlier in no time, maybe, well, if I'm not mistaken, you're what we call a detective, aren't you? Yeah, true. I was really convinced that they were going to frame me for that then. No, no, don't be so modest. I can tell by that keen eye of yours that you're indeed a real detective. Actually, talking of detective Game Boy games, look what I got earlier today, actually. Deja Vu for the uh, Game Boy Color. It's a point-and-click detective sort of visual novel for the Game Boy Color, which sounds really interesting. So I'm going to give that a go at some point, too. Anyway, well then, detective. It's good to have you on board. Our passenger's in room 203. I believe his name was Teru Masato. Can you find out who killed him? Don't worry. As president, I will be fully cooperating with your investigation. Well, since you don't seem to be up to it, I must introduce you to everyone before breakfast time. And they should be in the dining car. Alright, let's skip straight there. Sometimes this game skips you around and sometimes you have to go there yourself. Uh, Yagiman. As you all know already, the guest in room 203 died last night. He was murdered by cutting his throat with a knife. This one's not homebrew, this is an official game. Came out in... Uh, 1999. And it was actually based on a Mac point-and-click game. It looks really cool. So yeah, nice. I'm trying to do a mix of homebrew and official games. I've also been playing Harvest Moon 2 as well recently, which is really fun. I've been trying to collect some more Game Boy Color stuff. Hey, that's fine, don't worry. Interestingly, the first Deja Vu on here is actually based on the NES game. So it'd be interesting to play a point-and-click game like that on the NES as well. And then that came out, like, over ten years later, even though it's still an 8-bit system. Anyway, getting off topic, let's get back to the game. Chatter, chatter! This spacecraft is completely enclosed space. Outside, there is a vacuum. There is no way of getting out of the craft. This means the murderer of the passenger in room 203 is... I really thought he was going to say Among Us. They missed a trick there. Still here in this craft, in our midst at this very moment. Passengers. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm not staying with a murderer. I'm going back to my room. Sir, please. Oh, that's cool, Gian. I love the GBA one. Um, Friends of Mineral Town, is it? I think it's called that. Yeah, I really want to get Harvest Moon 3 for the Game Boy Color as well. That was the first one that introduced marriage with different characters, I believe. Uh, there is no need to panic, because... This cat-eared person here. They are in fact a detective! Apparently. Detective? The kid? Really? I have elected them to take the case and find the murderer. I assure you, their skills are second to none. Criminals? They can nab as many as they want. Good to see you all agree. Now please, go back to your rooms. Okay, we have to do some detective work. Please take this. You've got a map. Oh my god. Why could they not give me a map in the first part of this game? I can't believe they just gave me that now. That would have helped so much. Right, anyway, what have we got? We're in the dining car at the minute, which is number one. We've got passenger, engine, sick bay. Another passenger, engine, two freight ones, resource, and cockpit and engine. We haven't got that far yet. Hey, what's he doing walking on the map? This is the deck plan of this spacecraft, so you can see at a glance where everything is. First, where we are now, Unit 1. This is an end unit, and as you can see, there's a dining car. Uh, Harvest Moon 3, you can only marry the, marry the female farmhand. Oh, so you don't really get a pick of all the NPCs then. Still, it's cool they included that. Uh, what do you prefer more about number 2? I liked how fast it was to move around, I don't know whether they carried that on in number 3 or not. 
Um, ER17SM, the cooking robot, is always present. Next, Unit 2 is a passenger car. I, Yagi Man, occupy room 201. Madame Natalia, the goose, in room 202. And the victim, Mr. Teru, in 203. He was a human. Unit 3 is an engine room unit. Unit 4 is a sick bay where our Dr. Watson is on duty. Unit 5 is also a passenger car. 501, Mr. Tasuki and his hood hides his face, but he is human. 502, Miss Oyan the bear. 503, Miss Hilda. She is the maid of Madame Natalia in room 202, and her species is a goose, like her. Across the engine room unit, 6, 7 is the last passenger car. Mr. Saito, the rabbit, in 701. 702 is your room, detective. And Mr. Foss, a man with cat ears, in room 703. Plus, unit 74 usually has Pierre, the conductor. <coughs> unit 8 is a freight car, where you found the knife. Unit 9 is the third engine room. 10 is another freight car. 11 is the resource chamber, carrying fuel for the craft, as well as water and food. Another end unit, 12, contains the engine room and the cockpit with the captain at the helm. And that's all. Did you got it? Uh, that was a lot to take in, but I think so. The best way to find the killer among them would be to talk to all of them and gather information from them. When Dr. Watson examined the body, he said that the estimated time of Mr. Teru's death or murder was between 11pm and 1am last night. If we ask everyone what they were doing around that time, well, we'll naturally find someone who doesn't have an alibi. For a start, let's hear from ER17SM there. I will accompany you, detective, and together we will interrogate the passengers. No, the suspects. Alright, let's begin. Beep, I am ER17SM cooking robot. He is an excellent cooking robot equipped in here. Chef, do you have any memory of what this dining car was like between 11pm and 1am last night? Yes, President. I am a robot. I have good memory. At 11pm, Madame Natalia was with you alone. Uh, Don't get me wrong, we were just having some Necomon battles here last night. Remember you found the cable? That was for that. Yeah, sure. Later, at 11.40, you and she headed towards Unit 2. Yeah, that's right. After that, we both went back to Unit 2. Have any other passengers visited this dining car? No, President. No one. Right, right. No one visited this dining car. By the way, just to be clear, you never left Unit 1. You never went to Room 203, did you? No, President. I never go outside. I'm only part of this kitchen. It's impossible for me to move to another car. Thanks. We've heard enough. Okay. That rules out the robot. And it also means that he was uh, maybe getting jiggy with that lady that he was having Pokemon battles with. By the sounds of it. Right, let's speak to this fancy-looking duck with a hat. Natalia. Miss Yagiman, I'm sorry to hear about the incident. Detective, let me formally introduce myself. I'm Natalia. I may be strange to describe myself this way, but I am a very wealthy widow. I am on my way with my maid to go sightseeing on the moon. Madame Natalia, we are asking everyone about the time of the incident yesterday, between 11pm and 1am last night. You don't need to ask about 11pm, you remember that yourself, Miss Yagiman. Yes, yes, I enjoyed the Necoman battles last night. For your information, I won all the battles, hand down. She's very weak. Let's stop talking about it, shall we? After that, I think it was around 11.40, well, we both left the dining room at the same time. Yes, yes, I had a few more Necoman battles. Isn't that right? Yeah, of course. Th that's what happened. Also, I think it was a little after midnight when we heard the noise in the corridor. We were startled and interrupted. A Necoman battle, of course. I peered out the door and saw the doctor saying a couple of words to next door, but turned back towards Unit 3 without going in. Thank you very much for sharing your story. Okay. Pierre. Ma'am, ask me anything. Pierre, tell us about the time of the murder between 11pm and 1am last night. I was standing in front of the rear side door, Unit 7, the whole time, ma'am. I believe the detective remembers it too. Did any passengers move suspiciously, as far as you know? Well, around 11.30, the guest in room 701 came out of his room, but didn't go anywhere. In particular, just wandered the hallway, had some drinks. 
701? That's Mr. Saito. He didn't leave Unit 7, right? No, ma'am, he didn't. Suspicious for sure, but if he didn't go outside, he could be the murderer. Any other movement? I don't think there were. Okay, thank you, Pierre. Are you here to ask about my alibi for the case? Uh, yes, I am, Dr. Watson. I appreciate your understanding. Detective, Dr. Watson is our employee and a reliable ship's doctor. You can trust her testimony. Thanks for that, boss. As I told you earlier, I believe the estimated time of the victim's death is between 2300 and 0100 oh, hours last night. So, I'll tell you what he did during this time. I was in this sick bay at exactly 2300 hours. After that, Mr. Mr. Foss, I guess I'll call him, came in, I think at exactly midnight, and asked for motion sickness medicine, so I gave him some. That reminded me that Teru looked unwell that evening, so I went up to his room to check on him. That sounds important. When did it happen, and how did he look at the time? I didn't see his face. After midnight, around five minutes past, I knocked on his door and asked him if he was alright. Then I heard his voice through the door. I'm okay, I'm fine. So I went straight back to this sick bay. Oh, the boy was still alive then. And if I hadn't taken my eyes off his room... It is never your fault. Did you notice anything else? Well, after I got back here, I think at around 1am, this time Miss Hilda came in and said she couldn't sleep, so I gave her a sleeping aid. And that's all, I think. No other passengers have visited here? Only two. Mr. Foss, Miss Hilda, oh, and Mac, except for the passengers. He lay on the bed there and didn't get up the whole time. Okay, thank you for your cooperation in the investigation. I don't know who Mac is. I don't remember them mentioning anyone called Mac. Is he the guy with the hood? No, he's, his name's Yagiman. May I ask where you were last night? Oh, his name is Ta Tasuku. It wasn't me, I didn't do anything. Sure, can you tell us? There's nothing to talk about, now get out. It better not be that obvious. Hmm, he clearly doesn't want to talk to us. This one's very suspicious, but I can't help it. Let's interrogate the next suspect. I'm going to go and try and talk to him again. Want to hear from him again? Is it just going to do the same? Yeah, it's just the same. <clears throat> 502, we got the bear. Miss Olian. Sorry. I'm probably butchering these names. Uh, we're going around asking people about the events at the time of the incident last night. It's around 11pm to 1am. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, yes. I was waiting for you to ask me. To tell you the truth, I heard some weird noises. Did you really? Yes. It might sound surprising, but I have good ears. I can tell what is going on in the corridor, even when I'm in my room. That was just about the time the date changed. Someone came from the right and went through to the left towards Unit 4. Then, a few minutes later, the same footsteps went back, this time from left to right. And later, around midnight, I heard someone's footsteps passing through the corridor again. It was a different person than before, but they went to the left, and a few minutes later, back to the right, just like the last one. One of these two must be the murderer. I see. Thank you for your valuable story. Are those two the only ones who went through Unit 5? Yes, I swear, it's just those two. So there is no doubt that one of them is the... Yes, I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. So, there's two suspects. Hilda, Detective. And Miss Yagiman, thank you for your hard work. Miss Hilda, we are in the process of asking everyone where you were at the time of the incident. For your investigation, yes, I will answer anything. But having said that, I don't know if what I have to say will help you. 
Any story would be helpful. I am Madame Natalia's maid, and I am accompanying her during her trip to the moon to look after her. Accompanying her? It's a tough job, isn't it? I know, because I run a company. Ha ha ha. Oh dear. After Madame had left for her match with you last night... Her match with you last night? Yes, her Nekomon battle. I went back to my room. I couldn't sleep. I don't know what time it was. Around midnight, I left my room and asked the ship's doctor for some sleeping pills. After that, I slept very well, and that was until the morning. Oh, uh, I see. You only left your room once? Thank you very much. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do that face. Uh, okay, let's speak to... Oh, that's Mac. Okay, he's the guy who runs the engine room. Boss! Am I a subject of their interrogation too? Of course, Mac. We have to hear from everybody. Mac is an excellent engineer on this craft. He is the reason we're able to operate safely. He is still quite young, but quite good. Still young? Uh, boss, I'm older than you! Don't interrupt our interrogation! Between 11pm and 1am last night, did you see anything suspicious? Nope, because I was asleep at the time. The whole time. You know it too, right, passenger? If you think I'm lying, ask Dr. Watson, and she'll tell you I was in the sick bay all night. Wait, I remember Dr. Watson. I think it was just a little after midnight. She went away somewhere once. No, 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 she can't be. And she was only gone for a couple of minutes. Here's nothing. Forget it. Okay, but you have to take care of yourself. The safety of everyone on board depends on you. Okie dokie. I am not going to be able to keep all this in my head. Oh my god. Alright, Foss. Hello, Detective and Miss Yegerman. I'm a salesman from Earth, and this time I'm on a business trip. Mr. Foss, we're asking around to everyone about the time of the incident. It was between 11pm and 1am last night. Well, I was in my room most of the time, but I went to the infirmary once. What time was that? It was around 12 o'clock when I left my room. I saw Mr. Saito, the man with the rabbit ears. What was he doing in the corridor? Anyway, I went to the infirmary to get some medicine because of my space sickness is acting up again. Again? Yeah, actually I got space sick yesterday evening, that's why I missed dinner. Oh, breakfast today was delicious. Just thinking about food makes me hungry again. Yeah, that's about all I remember from last night. I didn't come across any other passengers or anything. I see. Thanks for sharing your story. Don't worry, it's almost lunchtime. And this is my room, I guess there's nothing to do in there. And there is someone in 701. This is a guy with rabbit ears, Saito. Hey, the name's Saito. Nice to meet you. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is... Uh, but my homeland is the moon, and I've been uh, on Earth for work. Mr. Saito, may I ask where you were and what you were doing at the time of the incident? I don't know. I didn't do anything in particular. Where were you at 11pm? My room, of course. And there all night? Uh, no, I left my room about 11.30. I was suffocating in the spacecraft compartment. Well, leaving the room doesn't change anything. I just hang out in the corridor of Unit 7 for a while. I take your advice. Did you notice anything unusual during that time, like someone passing through? Oh, oh I missed it. Uh, no, not you. The guy in the room next to yours. Came out of his room looking very green and wobbled towards Unit 6. Although he was back in a minute. I see. That's Mr. Foss. Anyone else pass through? No. But, come to think of it... Uh, I have the right to tell this to you. Did something happen? Tell us about any little thing. Nah, I mean, the conductor's standing in front of the unit door. He he he. He fell asleep a couple of times. Leaning against the freight car door. What a skillful guy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Thank you for letting us know. I think we've now interrogated them all. Let's go back to my room and sort out the information. Does he mean my room or his room? Okay, I guess his room. <clears throat> I hope they talk through this because there was a lot to take in. Was this room 203, if I remember right? Or 201, maybe? Yeah. We finally finished questioning all the suspects. Thank you for the hard work. We've gathered a lot of information, but one piece in particular might give us a clue. 
Yes, Dr. Watson's story. She mentioned that only three people visited the sick bay, Unit 4. Mac, Mr. Foss, and Miss Hilda. Additionally, she noted that at 12.05, Mr. Terry was still alive. Hmm, Detective, from everyone we've spoken to, who do you think is the most likely suspect? The murderer is... Oh my god, no, I don't remember anyone's names. Huh, <laughs> I like that no idea is an option. Oh, actually, the characters are in the back of here, actually. Or some of them. No, not all of them, though. <clears throat> what was the name of the guy wearing the hood? I'm just going to click no idea for now. I don't want to accuse anyone. There's a few more testimonies that concern me, but they complement each other's stories and they all have alibis. There is no one among us who could have committed the crime. I believe that the information we have is inconclusive at this point. I suggest we revisit the search for physical evidence. While I was initially flustered myself, there might still be something left at the scene. The freight car where you found the knife is also suspicious. Let's double check those two places. Am I allowed back in? Pierre, can we go inside? Yes, ma'am. It's the dreamer's body. There's something under the bed. You've got a broken watch. Is this a watch? I guess it belongs to Mr. Terry. It looks designed for young boys. The band is made of silk and the case is plastic and it's crushed as if it's been trampled. Maybe it was broken when it was attacked by the killer. The screen is an e-paper. Still shows the time at the moment it was broken, even though it's no longer working. The time is 8, 5 something. I can't read the rest, but it looks like it around 8.50, huh? The time of Mr. Teru's death should be around 11pm to 1am, which doesn't match the display. What is the meaning of this? We must ask Dr. Watson about this. Interesting, what could have broken a watch at 8 o'clock? Oh, Kai, what can I do for you this time? Doctor, let me ask you about the estimated time of death you told me earlier. Are you sure you're not mistaken? What? Uh, yeah, I don't specialise in forensic science, but I do have a medical knowledge, so it has to be right. Really? Look at this. This is a watch found in Mr. Teru's room, and it's broken. So what? The time on the screen. It indicates around 8.50. Mr. Teru fought with the murderer, who entered the room, and that's when the watch broke and stopped. In other words, it's telling us the true time of the crime. You lied to us, Dr. Watson. No, no, hold on, I'm not lying. Then how do you explain this display? Whether this 8-5x is in the morning or at night, it is inconsistent with your estimated time. I'm not a murderer. You tell her I'm not, detective. That's it, detective. You're going to help me prove I'm innocent. Neither do I want to believe that my own employee killed a boy. Can you find any evidence that Dr. Watson is not a murderer? I've been the ship's doctor for a long time, but I've never been suspected of murder either. It's terrible. Okay. How am I supposed to find evidence? Uh, I guess I just have to go and investigate the other part that I was told to go and have a look in. <clears throat> I hope the doctor wasn't the murderer. Is he going to let me past? I'm guarding the door for the freight on behalf of Pierre. Just lock the door? Actually, the lock is broken. What? You want to check the freight car again? Why? The murderer weapon was found. Huh, that's amazing. I'm sorry, but no passengers are allowed in the freight car. It's a mess and you could get hurt. Well, that's not fair. Let me in. Uh, on Earth, in my family, when I was a child, I was taught that people who died ascended to heaven. But what happens when you die here? You don't know where to go when there's no up or down. Okay. Back to exploring everywhere then, I guess. 
I feel sorry for the victim, but it's a damn disaster. Uh, could we be caught on suspicion as soon as we get to the moon? Oh no. Madame is what they call a retro gaming nerd. I don't know much about it, but she has a huge collection of old video game consoles in her mansion. I want her mansion! Uh, my testimony will lead you to the arrest of the murderer, no doubt. This guy wasn't very... Oh, that's the name of the guy. How about asking the cooking robot? Yeah, maybe. Uh, what? You think that doctor might be the killer? The broken watch telling the time? Oh, he wants to do something. Uh, Tasuku forced a piece of paper into your hand. It looks like the boarding ticket. The edge has been torn off. You, detective. If you slack off on this investigation, I won't forgive you. Weird. Solve the murder mystery. Okay, we've got some extra stuff now. Um, shall I try talking to her again? Oh, this is a boarding ticket for this craft. <clears throat> What's that got to do with it? Well, it seems to say this on the ticket. Name Misato. From Kagoshima to Palace Somni. 21st of September, 11 o'clock. The first half of the passenger's name section is torn out, but Misato is Mr. Teru's surname. No doubt this belonged to the victim. Why Mr. Tasuku had it, and why he gave it to you, detective, is a mystery. Uh, Tasuku? That boy? I don't know, but maybe he was trying to tell us something. If the information on the ticket is something to do with it. What is it? Name, class, from, to, date, time. I don't know what it means by class. Name? Passenger name? Yes, I'm aware of the part that's torn out, but he was the only one with the surname of Misato. Class? Of travel class? No, no, you don't have that. You made that up. Our spaceship liners have no segregation. That's our company motto. From departure point? In that section, you can see where on earth Mr. Teru departed from. This one says Kagoshima. It's a city in Japan, I think. Japan? Yes, that's where he came from. Earth. There must have been a time difference between where he came from and this craft. Isn't it possible that the boy forgot to adjust his watch? Ah. We are using UTC, or Coordinated Universal Time. Japan is nine hours ahead of that. So if we convert the 85X on the watch to our time zone, then that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... One, two, three, four, five. Right. No, wait, if the time on the watch is advanced, you should have subtracted, not added. Oh, no. Uh, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, eleven. Silly me, of course, that matches. The estimated time of death on the victim between eleven and one. Have you cleared up your suspicions about me, boss? Oh, I almost forgot you were here. According to Max's testimony, you only left the sick bay once, just after midnight, so you couldn't have been involved in the murder of Mr. Terry, who died around 11.50. I'm relieved. You are utterly... Ah, oh, forget it. Ah, uh, I initially thought we'd finally found the killer. Oh well, let's go and look around for new evidence. But wait a minute. The victim died at around 11.50. Watson said she knocked on his door at around 12.05 and heard his voice through the door. Who answered her knock? I've been a ship's doctor for a long time and I've never been suspected of murder. You don't suspect other employees, do you? Does she not know what people sound like? Can she not just tell us who she heard? Hmm. Not sure what we need to do now.
Natalia, uh, please keep our Necroman battles between us uh, as a secret, I guess. No one in there. Should I check the treasure chest? I've never been able to open any. Do you think that's like a new game plus thing? Alright, robot, your turn for an investigation. <clears throat> oh, I don't get to say anything to the robot. The door appears to be locked. Panel lamps are flashing. Panel lamps are flashing. You, detective, if you slack off on this investigation, I won't forgive you. Yeah, he was probably just friends and he's sort of a recluse type guy. My testimony will lead you to the arrest of the murderer, no doubt. Do you think I have to try and go through the freight door now? Uh, Madame is what they call a retro gaming nerd. I want to become friends with that lady and inherit her mansion. I feel sorry for the victim, but it's a damn disaster. Could we be caught on suspicion as soon as we get to the moon? Right, we have double checked everyone's rooms now. And there wasn't anything different there. Hey, we can get through here now. We're making progress. Whoa! Mac, what the hell are we doing here? You're trying to destroy evidence. You're the murderer! Boss, no, I can explain! So you're saying that there was one extra room service dish, so you stole it and brought it here to eat? Stole? No, that's a misleading term. What I did was an efficient use of resource. Whose food did you eat? Oh, you see, that cat-eared... No, not you! The man in the room next to yours. When I brought the food to him on the cart, he said, I'm not feeling well, so please take that back with you. Oh, that's Mr. Foss. So what happened after that? If I did what he said, the robot would just dump the food, right? How could I be such a waste knowing that that hamburger steak with the demi glaze sauce was so good? That could be true. So I just carried the cart straight into the freight car and finished the food myself. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. The cart with crockery on it. Oh, what are these? You got a dirty plate. You got a dirty fork. Hmm, what is it, detective? Is it that the knife was just steak? Oh, that would be the plate and fork I used. Eww. No, wait, that collar. Detective, don't you recognise this dirt from somewhere? It's on the knife. Turns out the knife wasn't the murder weapon, I guess. It was just from his steak that he stole. The collar texture perfectly matches the dirt on the fork and plate, which means that the uh, identity of the dirt on this knife is... Sauce? Exactly, this is not blood, this is demi guy's sauce from last night's hamburger steak. Boss, what the hell are you talking about blood? That knife is the one I lost, thanks for picking it up, I must have dropped it on the way to bring in the cart here, after I finished eating. Oh, you've got us all wrong. And Mac, as always, say don't leave your stuff over in the corridors, keep it tidy. Aye aye man. I thought I'd found the killer this time. Feeling a bit tired, aren't we, detective? How about we take a break in the dining car? A car with crockery on it. Luggage left on the floor. A while after I finished my second plate of hamburger, I suddenly got a stomachache and that's why I was lying in the sick bay. But this is still terrible that she suspects me of murder. Now we have to make our way all the way back over. Let's try and open this. Still can't open the chest. And never will be able to. I'd have to battle her if I want the mansion. I could take her on. Oh wait, what do you mean by battle her? I know what she's like. Alright, back to the dining room. Phew, the meal was good as always. 
Now, have a cup of coffee. It's excellent here, too. Ugh. Cough, cough, cough. Wheeze. What the hell is this coffee? Pardon me. Hey. I am the ER17SM cooking robot. I serve you a coffee. You put salt in them, not sugar. I did not do that. My cooking is perfect. No complaints are accepted. Don't be silly. Then taste it yourself and tell me I'm wrong. I do not have the ability to taste. What? Then how do you know if you haven't put the ingredients in wrong? All ingredients are labelled so that there are no mistakes. Therefore, there are no errors in my cooking. Let me see the kitchen. My, this sugar jar has had its contents swapped for salt. Whoa. What happened? Whose prank was this? Why didn't you check the contents of the jar when you used it? You could have noticed the difference between salt and sugar by looking at it. I do not have the ability to taste. I have put the contents of the jar which is labelled sugar into your coffee as programmed. All ingredients are labelled so that there are no mistakes. My cooking is perfect. No complaints are accepted. Nothing about you is perfect. You got it wrong, in fact. I did not get it wrong. If it is labelled as sugar on the jar, then it is sugar. My cooking is perfect. No complaints are accepted. That's ridiculous. What kind of nonsense is that? Oh no. I think the robot's getting confused and angry. My cooking is perfect, my cooking is perfect, my cooking is perfect. Shut up, shut up! My cooking is perfect, 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 perfect. Kaboom. What's going on? Am I drowning in coffee? Did the robot just poison the guy by mistake? Did we make it to the moon? What's going on here? Huh? I don't think we're on the moon anymore. Hey, you there. It's getting dark, aren't you going home? Aren't your parents going to get angry? You don't want to go home? Oh, well, never mind then. My name is Takusu. What's yours? Oh, you're such a quiet kid. Ha ha ha. That's his friend with the hood, who you first accused of being the murderer. Hello. I'm not going to try and pronounce that username, but yes, this is a brand new game. It just got an English release. This is actually a Japanese game originally. It's called Neko Can Dream. And it seems like a really interesting uh, sort of story-driven game where you're jumping through people's dreams. Um, in the first one, it was about this teacher here who was kind of having a, a nightmare about an accident that had happened with some of her pupils. And then... The second one here is a murder mystery set on a uh, set on a spaceship, which is really interesting. Try saying Voitek. Is that really pronounced Voitek? Okay, I'll take your word for it. I'll call you Voitek Five. But yeah, really enjoying the game so far. In fact, I'll go on full screen cam so you can see it a bit better first. There you go. Love the artwork. The artwork's really nice. And it also came with these stickers as well. There you go. Again, really nice artwork. And that, there, is actually a sticker that you can peel off and put over the cartridge. So if you want sort of a, a different design for the cartridge, then you've got that as well. And really nice font colour instruction book with some nice artwork in there as well. Like, that's the chapter I'm playing at the minute. Moon Dream Stage 2. So, really enjoying it so far, although the first one was a little bit annoying. Uh, where are we? Uh, yo, Teru, hope you didn't keep you waiting too long. No, I just got here. 
what's up with your outfit? It's quite light for the weather. No, I'm fine. I just don't have many clothes I can wear outside. Hmm. You can wear my coat then. Huh? Oh, uh, aren't you cold? It's a bit cold. See, I thought so. You wear it or you'll catch a cold. No, don't worry about me. I don't catch colds. But instead, I can... What? No, no, no. I mean... Can I hold your hand? I don't mind. Cute. Soon we'll be in junior high. We'll be in the same school, right? We don't have much time to meet up now, but starting from spring, we'll be able to see each other every day there. Yeah, I guess so. I really can't wait for spring to come and see you in uniform. Yeah. I have to go home now. See you next week, same place. Bump faces and run off. Takusu. You are the last... something. Uh, ding dong, ding dong. Thank you very much for using Orion Transport. We will arrive at Palace Somali Lunar Base in a few hours. Please check your carry-on baggage to ensure you do not forget anything when you leave the craft. Hmm? You smelled something unpleasant in the room. There's something on the chair. You got a utility knife with sticky dirt on it. When you put your nose close to it, you can smell something that is clearly not sauce. Oh no, I am going to be framed for the murder after all. Voice of Yagiman. Detective, good morning, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm very sorry for yesterday. Today is the last day of our three-day space journey. Hey, what's that in your hand? I see, the murderer is playing with us. It could be the real murder weapon that the killer snuck into your room and left behind. Once this craft lands on the moon, the murderer may escape. We must identify the murderer before the landing. Again, I'm glad that they didn't try and accuse me straight away. We're a lot closer this time. Hey, detective, how's your work going? What? Ain't I in danger here alone? I can handle myself against some killer. I don't mind about yesterday anymore. We have to do whatever it takes to find out who killed the boy. It wasn't me, I promise, even though I'm carrying a knife covered in blood. Pierre, can we go inside? Yes, ma'am. It's the dream, dreamer's body. Okay. Nothing there. Just check all the other doors. They're all locked. This one's open. This is the, uh, the person I'm going around with. <clears throat> Everyone's here having breakfast, I guess. No, my boss wants me to keep an eye on the robot because she says it might do something crazy. She's a bit of a jerk. Oh, the lock on the door to the freight car is still broken, so stay away from it, will you? In the end, it's safest for everyone to stick together. Uh, you still haven't caught the killer after my conclusive testimony? Can we get to the moon soon? The moon soon? Just get in. It's no longer safe to be alone in each room, so we'll all stay together as much as possible. Okay. I guess we have to traipse all the way back to the other side now and have a look back in the freight car again.
I'm not sure whether I like this music or not. I think I've just got so used to hearing it over and over again. <coughs> hmm. All the stuff's already moved out of the way. Ooh, we haven't gone this far before. I think I already blocked myself in then. the ladders over there. Maybe I have to do it like this. <coughs> ah, clever! What's he doing there? The elevator is not responding. You unlock the door. Huh? It loops all the way around? Oh yeah, well it was that kind of spaceship. Uh, what's the matter, detective? What? How did we transport from 12 to 1? What are you talking about? Oh, this is a deck plan for this craft that I gave you on the piece of paper. They're in a straight line, but they're actually shaped like a ring. So 12 and 1 are right next to each other. Is something bothering you? Yeah. The criminal's alibi? Wait a minute, let me think. At the time of the event in Unit 7, where Mr. Saito and Conductor Pierre, who sometimes dozed off, which is... What he did, leaning against the door. It was impossible for the killer to get through the freight cars. Besides, no one went through Unit 1. The robot assured us. Yeah, something seemed wrong with that machine. Even if we can't count on the robot's testimony. We still have Dr. Watson's. Nobody's gone through Unit 4 either. I'm sure, in other words, one, uh, no one could have killed the boy. I knew it, detective. Please stop joking. As I said, nothing changes the fact that there is no one to suspect. <clears throat> so, you're saying that if this point connected, there is one person who could have committed the crime. If so, if that's the case, then the murderer is in... Uh... Unit... Whoa, thank you for the follow. I didn't see the name, but I saw all the stuff explode everywhere. Uh, Stevie H6, thank you. And the Ginger Wolf's here as well, hello. You may have joined a bit late into this game to actually understand what's going on. This is a new game called Neko Can Dream, and I'm trying to solve a murder mystery on a spaceship at the minute. Let's ask the robot again if they're really... Uh, no one who went through Unit 1. That should clarify things. Uh, I serve delicious food to everyone, blah blah blah. Chief, Chef, I have to ask you something. Yesterday you told us that at 11.40 the day before, after I and Madame Natalia left here, no one visited this dining car. You said that to our faces, didn't you? So cute, of course. You're talking about the... Uh, character on the box, aren't you? Look how cute she is! And it came with some stickers as well, which I really like. I love the artwork so much. I followed the artist on Instagram, actually. Uh, no, I did not say that. Hmm. What? I'm a robot. I have very good memory. Did I not say that line, President? You asked. Have any other passengers visited this dining car? To which I replied, no president, no one. Then you said to yourself, right, right, no one visited this dining car. I only meant that no passengers visited this dining car. 
it was you who mistakenly assumed that no one had visited. You knew I was mistaken and didn't correct me because... Because you weren't asking me. You were saying it to yourself. Was there someone? Did someone pass through here, apart from the passengers? Yes, President. One person did. Is it the guy who runs the engine room? Detective, I have the key to the elevator in Unit 12. Let's uh, go when you make up your mind. Okay, that felt a little bit disjointed. Not really sure. Okay, anyway. Let's carry on. Destination, you're at cabin. Uh, is that the only option? Do I not get to go anywhere? Am I at the right place? Does it not go anywhere? Apparently, if you just press exit in an elevator, it goes up. Okay. Well, we're somewhere new now, anyway. Detective, this floor is low gravity, as it is close to the rotation axis of the craft, so watch your step. Whee! Ship's exit, can't open now. Uh, Captain Asaka. Captain, where are you? The captain's the only person we haven't seen so far. Sonus Leo, hello. Good evening to you. Speaker, ding dong, ding dong. Thank you very much for using Orion Transport. We're about to enter the moon's gravitational pull. Please be aware that the craft may sway. But where's the captain? The large cockpit seat is empty. I'll have that back. Someone snatched the knife you had. Oh my god, there they are. Captain Asaka. Hey, I recognise this tune. This has been used in a lot of GB Studio games. Congratulations on getting this far, but maybe too far. Now that you know my secret, you will not leave alive. As they say, curiosity kills cats! Tick, tick, tick. You heard the sound of the blade of the utility knife in the girl's hand slowly coming out. The strong moonlight behind her made it difficult for you to see the girl's face. But her face, that face, you recognised it from somewhere. As you were puzzled, suddenly the knife swung down at you. Dead, you thought. And the next moment, you were thrown backwards. All you could see was... The hooded boy who pushed you away, grabbing the girl's arm. The friend of the boy that died. Tasuku? Thanks to you, Detective. I've been waiting for my chance to get into this cockpit, to avenge my Teru! You saw a boy and girl fighting fiercely in the dazzling moonlight, but finally... I hope he hasn't died. Suddenly there was silence. Blood is splattered all around them. The one bleeding. Was Asaka... In a split second, Takusu snatched the knife from her and slit her throat. With her eyes closed, bleeding, Asaka slowly collapsed to the floor in a small gravity, as if slow motion video. Seeing the look on her face, you finally realised. This face is exactly the same as Teru's. I remembered when I saw that face. We're in his... in Teru's dream. And... I'm not the real me. I'm the me he's dreaming about. How did I know? Because she, the girl, 
doesn't exist in the real world. She is really Teru himself. Or rather, the other himself. There were two of him in the stream. Takusu. You are the last person I wanted to see like see me like this. It's the same old story. He was abused by his mother, always forced to dress up as a girl. What we're looking at now is, his pa is what his parent wanted him to be. We both loved each other on the outside world. But lately he's been so depressed and he's been hiding from me. Like he's afraid of something. But he's got better things to do than stay cooped up in here and dream about getting himself killed. Hey, detective. You're different from the others, aren't you? You're not a character in this dream. You came from the outside world, right? To can his dream, as a dream can. Uh, yeah, he killed himself? What I'm getting from this is that he killed his female version of himself that he hated because his parents forced him to dress like a girl because they wanted a girl instead of a boy? Maybe? Is that what I'm getting from this? I love how these endings to the stories are really weird twists that you wouldn't expect to see. But yeah, either way, he ended up killing himself in his own dream. Uh, when this is over and you go back to the outside, if you see the real me out there, you can tell me this. Don't hesitate to go with him. Wake him up and give him a big hug. And tell me to say, what you're afraid of won't happen. You're just the way you are. Oh, right. I thought he was trying to push me away, but... You actually love me all this time. Love me enough to dream about me. It's your cue, detective. You can make a dream can from her. Don't worry, she can't do anything anymore. Detective, I don't know what's going on anymore. It's your cue, detective. Alright, that is that dream over, I guess. <laughs> Why was that not allowed? Kiss him, you fool! Now kiss. Cat? The other way that I might be able to read into that is that he's getting confused about his gender. So he was pushing away his boyfriend in the real world? Maybe? Because even though he died as a girl in the dream, he is a boy in real life. Japan, Kagoshima, you spotted on the globe. Place names you had seen in his dream. That's where he went on the spaceship from. The books are all about space, which seems difficult. I wonder how he managed to read all these books. There are models of a rounded rocket and a four-legged craft in silver and gold. They're elaborately made, and geeky. There's a box marked toys. It's clean and appears to have been used with care. A model rocket made of several long, thin tubes. Teru must be a very space-loving boy. Okay, that is that dream over. Detective. Alright, have a good day at work. I'm about to wrap up soon anyway. I'll probably do the third part of this some other time because I don't know how long it will last. And I've only got about an hour left so we can finish this next Tuesday. But let's just get to the end of this section first. Pant Pant, I finally caught up with you. Please wait for me, detective. Um... I've been hearing all these incomprehensible stories about being in and out of dreams. Thank you for showing the game. My pleasure. I'll probably end up doing a video about it as well because I... I am really enjoying it so far. It's very interesting. Very different to anything else I've played. Dream can. I completely lost track. Can you explain what the hell is going on? Mm hmm? Am I in the dream again? This is the teacher from the first dream. 
outside the world into the dreams, from the dreams to the outside again. Oh, just explaining what's happening. Is this world nothing but a dream? And you collect them for the people on the outside? Why bother with people on the outside? Why do you need to go back to reality when the outside world is full of sadness and malice? Going back to reality will only make me suffer. If he knew the real me, he would leave me too. So I will stay here forever. Yeah, what's wrong to keep people dreaming? There is no need to go back to reality, to the outside. Stay, stay here forever. I'm wondering whether the world that you begin in is part of a dream as well. Because some of the characters from that first dream were walking around in the city. Wake up. Open your eyes. Let's get back to the rea reality, to our world. I already was. No, it was a dream within a dream. And then going into other people's dreams. Am I actually just a cat? Ha! Oh my god, I can even control it. And it's turned into a platformer as well. Amazing. I actually am just a cat. Oh my god. Hmm. It's just a cat. Jeez, that's a filthy cat. This game's taken some really weird twists and turns. There's nothing to feed a stray cat. Hey, you don't come any closer or I'll kick you. Aww. Look at her. Oh no! I was rescued. Is that the other guy from the dream? Who was telling me about the dream cans? You're going to be late for work if you keep watching this. <laughs> okay. What's going on now? What is going on? Where am I supposed to be going up here? <laughs> you better go. You can watch the VOD on YouTube tomorrow. I've heard this music before as well. I'm amazed at how they've made this feel so unique. It makes a change to play a game that's so focused on the story. From GB Studio. A lot of them are more adventure focused. So this is a really nice change of pace. And I love these cutscenes as well. They look fantastic. What? That was a dream? She's having flashes to the real world, I think. Okay, what is it? Sorry, I'm on the phone. Yeah, I'm in front of the store. Tayaki? You want me to buy Tayaki? Is there anything else I can do in the store? Anyway, I'll probably leave it here for tonight, because like I said, I don't know how long the next section is. But anyway, thank you so much for, for watching. I'll pop back on the camera for a second to round this stream out. So there we go. That was the first two sections of Neko Can Dream. I'll put this up on YouTube. So for anyone who missed any of this, definitely go and check it out, because it, uh, it has been a very interesting story so far. And I can't wait to see... Uh, where it goes next. Uh, where can you get it? I'll send a link actually. There's two ways to get it. You can actually get just the ROM or if you go to... 
Uh, let me just find the link. I put it on the community tab earlier. Um, is it on this one? Hmm, I thought I'd put it on there. Uh, Bear with me a second, I'll find you the link to the English version. It's on a website called Alice Books. And you can also see some of the other stuff that the developers uh, worked on as well. So, there we go. I'll leave the stream here, but if you go to that link there, you can uh, check out the physical version that I got here as well as the uh, Japanese version as well. And I think there'll be a link to the game anyway. But thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you all again next Tuesday, half seven, and we can finish this game off. So thank you so much for joining the stream. And I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. What? Do, wait a minute. What I should do, because it's Twitch and I always forget. I should find someone to raid. Let's see if there's someone online. I always forget to do this, and I always get told off for not doing it. So... Let's see if I can find anyone. Old-timey computer show. I guess we can send people over there. Are you ready to head off? I need to follow more people on Twitch, honestly. There we go, you should all be going over there soon. Raid now! Alright, bye!